Yeah, what's going on, huh? 7.30 p.m. Sunday night. To be honest with you, I don't want to spend too much time chit-chatting. Small talk. I've spent most of my life as an adult embroiled in this completely disgusting moralization around whatever's going on in the holy land of Palestine. Well, I wasn't allowed to have anything to do with my actual roots, including the one my mama told me about. And in the meantime, it seems like what happened is a bunch of fucking perverts made some deals to hook up girls that looked a certain way and that they could try to bust down because some deals got made on their ancestors back in the old country. And so I was supposed to do some sort of fucking uh, tax waiver shit for a bunch of people that don't want to acknowledge I exist. Because the only way a girl like me can grow up to be a woman is if she agrees to do <clears throat> secret fucking service for people that apparently didn't even fucking have the capacity to perform the role they say they're qualified to get secret service for. It seems to be an international cooperation around this shit. And because for 30 fucking years, people co-conspired with it at one level or another, now they're just hooking up little girls younger and younger, and some people want a special fucking order on a <clears throat> particular demographic. You let your little Irish girl pussy banks get worked for a while, and now people want an import job. And I had to watch you do that to a 10-year-old girl who's going on 14 right fucking now. And every fucking time that dings, and every time you try to fucking <coughs> parlay some shit off of her brother right here, because he has a name that has a local fucking reference... I remember that all of the time and energy I absolutely, 100 sincerely put into what I experienced both directly and vicariously, not a goddamn fucking person to this day has requited. Not a goddamn fucking person stood up for me. You know that? That's what I was realizing today. It's a horrible fucking reality. Nobody stood up for me. My entire fucking life. Nobody stood up for me Personally, me, specifically, nobody stood up for me and nobody stood with me. Nobody stood with me. What did you expect? Where were we at today? Total war was forced on the Jews. Jacob Zur. Zionism, 1977. Wow. Great year, huh? You know, it was a great year for upstate New York, too, wasn't it? Not as good as it was for Chicago via upstate New York, right? Quoted in Philippon, The Birth of Israel, 121. Fact. Israel's army was on the march within weeks after the 1947 UN partition plan. Organized military action by the Zionists began in mid-December under Plan Gimel. By early March 1948, the Jews were pursuing Plan Dalit, aimed at capturing areas in the Galilee and between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv that had been assigned by the United Nations partition plan to the envisioned Palestinian state. Thus, by May 15th, when five Arab armies entered Palestine, Israel had already conquered substantial portions of Palestine outside its own UN-defined state. By contrast, it was not until April 30, 1948, that the Arab chiefs of staff met for the first time to work out a plan for military intervention. Even at this late date, as Israeli historian Simha Flapan, the Arab leaders were still desperately searching for a face-saving formula that would extricate them from a commitment to military action. On May 13th, the U.S. ambassador to Egypt reported on the low morale of the Arabs, adding informed circles inclined to agree that Arabs would now welcome almost any face-saving device if it would prevent open war. Jordanian war aims were not against the Jewish state or partition, which is conditionally accepted but were against Israel's efforts to annex parts of Palestine not included as Jewish in the UN partition plan. As a result, 
as is really in a story in Abraham Selah recorded. All of the battles with Jordan's Arab Legion were fought in the areas outside the territory of the Jewish state, including those fought in Jerusalem. On June 1st, Israel's UN delegation issued a statement reporting that in two weeks of fighting since Israel's independence, the new country had gained control of 400 square miles beyond the border assigned to it by the partition plan and that no fighting was taking place within Israel's UN borders. The communique said, the territory of the state of Israel is entirely free of invaders. Footnotes 10 through 16. Khalidi, Morris, Quigley, Slapon. Cable from Cairo. Slapon. Khalidi. May 15, 1977. Not a goddamn one of you stuck a fucking round, did you?